I mean, I don't have any cash, but um, I could pay you a little extra in Bitcoin if we could do it in Bitcoin. Um, we actually don't accept Bitcoin. Uh, you don't have any I mean, I can show you. It's in my phone. I can show you. I we we could do a transfer. But there's literally no way for me on the POS to accept that public. Really? Hova beats, baby. It's Courtney and Ryan here with your weekly Money Minutes. Um, this week we want to talk about something that I cannot stop hearing anything about. I don't know about you, but the hot topic is Bitcoin. Everyone's yeah. talking about Bitcoin. Should I buy Bitcoin? What is Bitcoin? Can I use Bitcoin? Do you have any thoughts about that? Well, I mean, I just tried to buy it at Starbucks and they clearly almost kicked me out of line. <laughs> you know what we should do? We should go to the streets and find out what New Yorkers think about Bitcoin. I agree with that completely. Let's check it out. All right. Do you know anything about Bitcoin? Not too much, but I do know that it's a cryptocurrency and that there's a limited supply. It's too high risk, uh, yeah. especially right now in the market as well. If you had gotten a little bit earlier, then you would have done well, but I think now it's a little bit too high risk. That's something that like would mostly be mostly be used for like black markets, black market, um, yeah. illegal arms and stuff like that. Right. Somebody explained to me that you don't buy air. Yes, or things you don't understand, right? No, no, I understand it. I just, there's nothing there, there. It, it's This Bitcoin. is wait, Sage. Watch this. Bitcoin. <laughs> the market's been fluctuating, but I don't really, couldn't explain to you the technical, like how it works. I'll tell you most people can't. You're not alone in that. But you know more than you're leading on. You said you didn't know anything. Well, I, I, couldn't ex I couldn't explain it, but I just know the buzzwords. Okay. Honestly, that's most people. We know the buzzwords. We don't actually know what it is, what to do with it, to invest in it. If you, yeah. if you got big money, yeah, it's got more big worth money. it. If you got a lot of money, it's more worth right. it. Because you can maybe take some risk and maybe you can make more, a lot of money more, you know? Yeah, for me, it's too, too many ups and downs, baby. Good job with that. What about you? Any thoughts? Um, I think the idea of deleting the middleman like a bank is very smart and having yeah. it just go, oops, sorry. Having it go from like one place to another yeah. is smart. Yeah. So it's it's a give or take, and it's also not a very stable currency because it yeah. depends a lot on how much people are willing to pay for your Bitcoin and not yeah. like the gold standard or like the way yeah. that our money is now like on oil. So yeah. it's not very stable and actually went down, I think, a thousand recently, yeah. something like that. So while I like the idea of it, I don't think it's very good. There's right. no vault of Bitcoin. Only a virtual one that we can't really touch or see. No, we yeah. cannot touch or see yeah. or smell or put in the pocket. There's a lot that people are still trying to figure out with Bitcoin. And that's what we're seeing is there's really not a lot of use for it yet. Yeah. I mean, it's purely a price speculation right now. It's not paying us a dividend. We can't use it at Starbucks. We can't do something with it. <laughs> so we're just hoping the price is going <laughs> to go up. But if Bitcoin doesn't become a viable yeah. source of payment, is it still going to go up? I guess that's the question. Yeah, right. You know what reminds me of 20 years ago when the Internet really exploded? Everyone said that TV is going away. Everyone's going to watch things on the Internet. Well, that trend is just happening now. We're just starting to stream. Yeah things and get rid of our TVs, you know, cord cutting is a new phenomenon. So yeah, 20 years down the line, 20 years <laughs> down the line. Exactly. So, so if you want to get real long term investments that are probably really good value right now, you can click on the link below and talk to a real financial advisor. And if you haven't gotten it yet, our newest highlights on tax reform, click the link below and you can get that for free. That's this week's Money Minutes. As always, be, be bullish. bullish. Honestly, I'd rather have this Aussie shirt than a Bitcoin.